Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna show you how to explore the PowerUp directory and find PowerUps for your Trello board. So I spent a lot of time in Trello and its native features are pretty amazing, but there are PowerUps, which are these add-ons that you can add on top of Trello that makes it really cool and helps you do even more stuff with it. And there's not any single PowerUp that is perfect for everyone and does exactly what everybody wants, but there's a lot of different ones. And so it takes some time exploring them. And this video is gonna show you how to explore the different ones that are out there and figure out which ones you may wanna use. So first of all, from any Trello board, you're gonna click this rocket shippy ghost looking icon here um, in your toolbar card called Power Ups. Click that, you're gonna go to add Power Ups. And these are, um, like I said, these integrations that you can add to your Trello board. And some of them are made by Trello. There's actually a section here where you can see which ones are made by Trello. Um, but most of these are made by other developers and could be other companies. For instance, it could be, uh, you know, it, it could be like Typeform, for instance, has one and they have made an integration with Trello. It could be something that some other developer has made to add some sort of functionality on top of Trello, such as yeah, forms or such as reporting or different things like that. Um, Crumble, this is a great one. Actually, it's, um, it turns your board into like a CRM. So if you're trying to manage contacts in Trello, um, this power up adds a lot of functionality to your board that will show you reporting and give you additional fields for tracking contacts and things like that. And I'm not gonna, again, I would spend hours if I went through videos going through all of these different um, power ups and the different things they do and how to figure out which ones you need. But this directory is the best place to kind of explore because you can search for something. So let's say you're looking for time tracking. You can search for time tracking and see all of the different ones that exist. By the way, I have a video that I've already made showing time tracking powers for Trello. So if you are looking for time tracking in Trello, check the description. I'll link to the video in there. Um, but also you can see other ones. So maybe, for instance, you're not sure what you want. You just want to know what is available for analytics and reporting. You can click that category over here and you can see different ones on here and when you find one that looks interesting you can click it and this is its sort of listing page where you can learn a lot more about it so first of all you can see how many people are using it it's generally a good indicator of how useful it is um although newer ones might be super useful but have low numbers because they're just newer but it's a good way to see kind of how many people are using it you can contact um support if you have any questions about the power up or if you're having any issues with it you can do the privacy policy um you can also then keep reading and learn more about it and oftentimes power developers will have screenshots showing exactly how they all work and and what you can do with them. Um, they might mention the pricing and what you get for free or if you have to pay for some advanced features and what that looks like. And there's typically some more like information in here and, um, you know, sometimes like different GIFs or videos showing how you might use the power up. So that's how you use it. And if you want to add it to your board, you're just going to click add. And again, this process is a little bit different for every power up. Sometimes they'll have you create an account. Sometimes they will have you like this one's having me do. Um, sometimes you'll need to um, authorize it. And sometimes it'll just be like, cool, it's been added to your board. And then you'll go and set up the board settings based on whatever that um based on whatever that power up is. And once you've added a power up to your board, you can always go to the settings by clicking this power up icon. You'll see the power ups there and you'll see them listed here. Click settings and you can view the power up and any it'll open up anything with that. If there's any settings that you need to do, if you want to remove it, um, like let's say you decided you actually don't want to use this on your board, you can just click settings. Whoop and just choose disable. This is gonna remove it from the board and then you're, you're back at zero. So most of them will have little icons up here where you can click and interact with them. So um, probably should have shown you that before I removed it, but let's just fast forward here real quick. Let's just do card dependencies by screen full, add, add. And again, once it's added here, see now we've got a little bit of a link here. You can click that and it's gonna show you different things about that power up. So sometimes power ups will have buttons on different cards. So you can see this is how you might interact with it. You might need to authorize and do various things, but um, there'll be little widgets that you can interact with it inside of the card sometimes. Every power up is a little bit different. So I encourage you to really read that uh, directory page where I'm showing you the screenshots and things because that will tell you how to use the power up. So if you have any questions about specific power ups or using power ups, comment on this video below and I'll do my best to reply. Maybe I'll even make a separate video about it. Um, also, subscribe to this channel because I create content like this all the time about how to use Trello and do cool things in here. And I even have a weekly newsletter where I share tips and tricks and best practices and recommend power ups and different use cases and ideas for using Trello. Um, would love to see you over there. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.